Fuzuli al-Baghdadi was born in the year 1483 near the city of Baghdad during a period when the city was a battlefield of competition between the Ottoman and Safavid empires who were constantly fighting for control of the city. Due to his interaction with various cultures and civilizations during his childhood, Fuzuli was able to master the Arabic, Turkish and Persian languages. Besides learning languages, Fuzuli al-Baghdadi was also able to master multiple sciences and he eventually became a teacher in Baghdad where he taught mathematics, medicine and astronomy. However, Fuzuli's teaching and learning was soon disturbed by infighting between the princes of the ruling Safavid dynasty. During this period, many of Fuzuli's close friends were killed. When the Ottomans conquered Baghdad, Fuzuli praised the Ottoman Sultan known as Suleiman the Magnificent, who had liberated the city from Safavid oppression. In response to this praise, Sultan Suleiman gave Fuzuli a monthly salary in exchange for writing poems in praise of the Ottoman Caliphate. However, Fuzuli al-Baghdadi eventually turned against the Ottomans when he realized that they were no different from the Safavids in terms of their corruption and tyranny. After witnessing corruption from Ottoman officials, Fuzuli al-Baghdadi began criticizing the Ottomans in his poems. As a result, the Ottomans stopped paying his monthly salary and Fuzuli fell into poverty. He stated, "Take no pride in anything but your own virtue and do not lean on kingship with rulers and the service of princes or take credit for any of these things as they are in vain. Do not base your hopes on property and wealth which are impermanent and fleeting. If you desire for lasting merit, strive for knowledge and do not be ashamed to learn." Fuzuli eventually became so poor that he could no longer afford to live in his house in Baghdad. Therefore, he left Baghdad and traveled to the city of Karbala, where he began living in the mosque of Imam Hussein. Despite being poor, Fuzuli continued to criticize the injustice and tyranny of the Ottoman rulers, and he wrote a letter to the Ottoman government entitled Shikayatnama in which he presented a list of complaints regarding corrupt Ottoman officials who had taken bribes and confiscated private property However this letter fell on deaf ears and the people of Ottoman Iraq continued to suffer from poverty and marginalization Fuzuli al-Baghdadi also tried to convey the complaints of the people by meeting Ottoman governors and officials in person. However, he continued to be ignored and stated, "I greeted them with a greeting and they did not answer because it was not a bribe. I gave advice and no one paid attention to it, saying it is trivial." As a result, Fuzuli changed his gentle approach and began to aggressively attack the Ottoman rulers in his speeches and poems. During the final years of Fuzuli's life, Ottoman Iraq was struck with a deadly plague that killed thousands of people. He once addressed the Ottoman caliph and his indifference to the deaths of the people. He stated, A person who is accustomed to eating fried and grilled meat in every meal, who fills his table with delicacies and plunders the people's money, how can such a person with a wicked soul like his have mercy on souls torn apart by worries? And how can he feel the pain of tormented people? O oh, Sultan, what are you doing with a throne that will crash like a ship in a flood which emerges from the tears of the poor? 
Fuzuli al-Baghdadi died in the year 1556 when he was struck by the plague and he passed away in the city of Karbala 